road or on the wrong side of the road more like. Our sole mission this season to get to the Premier League, working our way up from tier 10 is, well, pretty much screwed. Going into the month of April has absolutely killed us, I'm telling you. At the back end of March, we had Good Friday's Carmageddon, didn't we? It's a four hour journey. I've still got three hours 15, but I've been on the road for like an hour and a half. Which means we didn't make it to Salford, although they did end up losing, so we would have been relegated. Instead, I went to the nearest place and that was Solihull Moors. That video is on the channel now and in the playlist. Then I bring you up to speed with the current timing of this video. We're on an overdue holiday as a family in Ibiza. The vlog's already on the channel, you can check that out too. But, more roadblocks. Upon returning from Ibiza, we have the Wukafugan. A yearly event with the Palmers FC boys. Yes, there'll be a video for that as well. But again, it's another week we didn't get to go to the football. But don't worry, you can go the week after. No, I'm up north. Family wedding. We'll about the week after, Smith? No, nope, can't do that either. I'm doing all things boxing. Of course, I'll try and get some midweek games in, but they're not going to be the games that we need to get up the leagues, unfortunately. So I guess now it's free reign. We can go wherever we want, as long as we haven't been there before. So let me know in the comments below where you think I should be going next, and we'll see how those teams compare to the ones we've already been this season in the ratings. So we're currently in Ibiza Old Town, and sorry if I pronounce it wrong, I did offend a few people in my vlog. People are touchy these days. Okay, it's Ibiza, Ibiza, Ibiza. It'll be one of them. Certainly not Ibiza, though, I'm told. Have a great shopping trip, guys. Love you. So while we're out here, it'd be rude not to visit the local team. The girls have gone shopping, the boys have gone football. We're not trying to be stereotypical. It's just the way it's panned out before you comment, alright? Just shush. Where's your pants? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, mate. I've, I've, you've got a nappy on anyway, so you'll be fine. So parking anywhere near the stadium was quite tough, so uh, we parked down here at the bottom of a hill. Zach can't hack it, can you? Can't hack it. So I've got to pick you up and hike all the way up, haven't we? So we're going to get there, aren't we? We're going to get there? Yeah. We eventually get to the top, and is that a car park? Surely not. Good news is we see floodlights, we're nearly there. In fact, we're pretty much there. We're at the Ibiza store. Let's grab a little Zaka shirt. I want a green one, Hulk. Anything that's green belongs to Hulk. As nice as they are, they're all long sleeve. In the end, Zach opted for the sky blue number. Oh my god, I just paid 70 euros for a three yard kit. <laughs> <laughs> he better like it. I think he likes it. That's the main thing. I just got through the barrier. A little bit of click, click, clickage. But you can imagine it's hard to carry a bag, carry a kid, and carry a camera at the same time. But we're going in. The tickets sent me back 30 euros for the pair. No DNA test needed. This is my son. <laughs> so I sense a little bit of liveliness in here. Oh, wow. After a few minutes of trying to find a seat, we found the seat. Zach's just taking a couple of minutes to take it all in. Who let the Eurovision Song Contest in? Yeah, enough of that. We should probably find out what the crack is with this team. It's name, Union Deportivo Ibiza. It was founded 2015, young pups. At the time of recording, they're pushing for promotion in the Premier Federicon Group 2, whilst their opponents, Melilla, sit down in 18th. Today's venue is Cam Misses, or Cam Miss. Of course, I pronounced it wrong. But it has a total capacity of 6,000. We normally talk about heated seats, but not needed out here. Just to let you know, the Eurovision Song Contest continues. <laughs> However, we do have a hype man announcer. So because I'm a proper geek and I love the English football ladder, let's see how the Spanish one works and how far away this team is from playing with the likes of Real Madrid and Barcelona. Well, those sides, as you know, sit in La Liga. But if unfortunately you drop out of that, you'll find yourselves in La Liga 2, Segunda Division. Now, those two leagues are the only two fully professional leagues in the country. Going down from that, we have a mix of professional and semi-professional clubs. It's the Premier Federacon, 40 clubs divided into two groups. I'm assuming it's regionalised. And it's two clubs from each group that get the opportunity to head up to the second division. And as I say, it's group two that Ibiza sit right now. Under that, it really really does spread out into the very depths of non-league football in Spain. You've got the Segunda Federican, that's five groups worth. Then the Tercera Federican, that's 18 groups made up of 324 clubs. And after that, regional divisions dropping down to the 10th tier. If it's have already been in the second division, they'll certainly want to make their way back ASAP. And if they do, they need to sort out the corner flag. The girth on that is, well, a chip at best. <laughs> So the first attack of the game is in favour of the home side. There you go. Oh! It's not long before Melilla are down the other end having to go themselves. It was interesting when buying these tickets because uh, all of the seats online were pretty much taken apart from our ones. There's quite a few empty seats in this gaff. Lino, watch what boots was he wearing. I'm fairly certain he's Adidas, Coppers, World Cup, one of them. Oh, but hang on. Get up. Yep. Oh! Oh, I've lost my son. But more importantly, chance. It's a good ball. Oh, wow. Oh, thank God for that. Found him. And just in time, too. There you go. Yay! 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 He's IB for through and through. Yay! 
But lads, don't celebrate too hard. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Zach's about to witness his first ever penalty a game. This coming seconds from kickoff, I promise you. We could be looking at two goals in a minute. <laughs> and just like that, one all. Pegback.com forward slash what the hell was going on. Confirmation on the big digital scoreboard at the end there. Interested to try out some Spanish cuisine. Although I've only seen people coming back with drinks. Nice one, Zach. That's the thumbnail sorted. Good boy. As far as food and drink, still just drink at the moment. <laughs> Zach's just decided to kick his sandals off. <laughs> and so just as I tried to raise him with a free roll, Milella go 2-1 up. <laughs> well, let's get the sandal back on, because we're going to try and beat the queues to whatever food and drink establishment is going on down here. Oh, God, it doesn't look like much. Come on, boy, let's see what fine cuisine this is. Or is it, in fact, just beer? Oh, no, there's crisps. Let's go with Cheeto footballs. Two of them and a bottle of water sent me back £5.50. Straight down the hatch. All right, let's head back to our seat. Half time whistle actually just went. So we definitely beat the rush for our crisps. And back to the very top, we get our reward. Pelotazor's footballers. No half time entertainment, but we do have the ball boys trying tricks. Zach was certainly entertaining as he next to Cheetos. I think you can definitely tell who the locals are around here because, well, they're hooded up. It is so hot today, but for this lot, Arctic conditions. Forgot to mention in the first half, but the front are on a little bit too early for me. There's a pier over the back. These are the views. We've got a little running track down there. Maybe the players do some training here. But that half time went quick. Players are back out, and Zach's being silly. <laughs> Oh. So, 2-1 down, need to turn it around. I expect a crazy second half, come on. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I mean, they got the first of many injuries. I sense time wasting. Where's this fall? He's over, isn't he? He's pretending to be hurt. He's not really oh. hurt. I really hope he's not really hurt. So that's now resulted to making a mess on the floor. Then we've got more hurtage. Yes. <laughs> 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 I'll be if we continue to attack as they look to get back into this one. Yes. Oh. And Zach, surprisingly, is loving his cheesy water. And persistence is going to pay off. Yeah. It's 2 2, we're back in it, but more time wasting. You <laughs> Reminds me of my visit to Barcelona. Whistles for days. <laughs> However, it looks like the gaze that's gone down has actually been pulled off. Melilla currently down to 10 men at the moment. <laughs> oh! Oh, no! <laughs> I mean, you've got to be netting them, Azak. We've got this corner. Yep. Oh! He's... He's... Oh, lucky. And I don't know how, but it's resulted in another injury. A situation where the physio treats an injured keeper with an injured player off the field. Once that's all sorted out, another injured player. Yeah, Play does eventually carry on as Ibiza come forward again. They're looking for the winner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. They're not happy, but check this one out. Yeah. That. Zach just said to me, I scored one like that in the back garden last week, Dad. This is shocking. I know, son. They really need to be putting teams like this to bed, don't they? No. <laughs> Three, two down. I can't, I can't believe it. They really do need to pull their finger out. We did not come here for a loss, did we, Zach? There's still time left. Good chance here as well. She's gone down. <laughs> Keeper's just pulled off a worldie, but he's pretending to be injured. We know he's game. Oh. Just nine minutes remaining in this one. If they're going to do something, it needs to be very, very soon. Oh, come on. Yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Despite all the stoppages, it's been a fantastic second half. But my God, it didn't stop there, did it? Yes, here we go. Yes. 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 Let's go. Let's go.
What a finale. 3 2 down to 4 3 up. Maybe it's time they did some time wasting their own. Tackle. Miguel's got a big one. Pass it on. And I think, might be wrong, but I think that might be time. Thanks for saying bye to the locals. And whilst we let this empty out, should we rate this experience? I think we should. Let's. And as per usual, we're going to start things off with atmosphere. It was kind of pumping all the way through, to be fair. A friendly atmosphere, I'd say. But still a decent one at that. Due to the constant noise, we're going to just go high with this and go four stars. Next up, we're talking facilities. That's really hard to compare where this sits in maybe the English ladder. Because, you know, we always like to rate it relative to the level it's at. Now, I might be completely wrong, but I feel like this could be like National League North South level. Maybe National League at a push. But a fairly simple ground. The scoreboard did a fantastic job. We'll go for three stars for the Cam. I'll leave my pronunciation alone. Food and drink next. What food and drink, you say? Well, there was a water. Yep, that was great. And uh, a packet of crisps. Listen, you know how I feel about food at the football when there's just nothing really there, was there? We're going to go half a star just for the effort. And finally, we're talking cost. Let's let's ignore that shirt, yeah? Let's focus on the ticket, which was 15 euros, just over £12.50. Annoyingly, I, even though I translated the website, I could not find a child ticket, so I had to buy two adults. But despite that, I feel like we did get our money's worth. Second half alone, it won't be five stars, but it will be very close at four and a half. And so that puts the pizza on 12 stars. They sandwich themselves in 13th between Bridport and Hampton and Richmond. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you check out the On The Road playlist. Over 100 videos in there. Hours of binge-worthy content. Enjoy.